we have our four textured tiles out of the bisque and I have a very specific underglazing assignments for you for these tiles. I have four different techniques that I want to present as possibilities for finishing your textured work. The first technique we're going to explore is staining with underglaze. Now with an underglaze stain what we want is a very weak form of the underglaze and I'm going to choose the cobalt crystal black. You can use any dark underglaze but for this particular piece the cobalt crystal black gives a very dark contrast to the colors that are there and it's much easier to see on film than some of the other colors. There are two blacks that, avail that are available to you. There is one called brown black and then there's the cobalt crystal black. If you are working with solid fields of color the brown black will appear almost black. If you want a true dark black, not one that has a slightly brownish cast, then you're going to want to spend the extra 50 cents or so and get the cobalt crystal black, and that's the one I'm using today. And I've got a little bit of water in my container here, and this is to dilute the underglaze. Now you don't need to mix up a whole lot at a time, and it's not really exact. You're just looking to make a weak solution of that underglaze. And if it's too weak, you can always add a little more underglaze, but it's hard to go the other way. So we're going to pick out one of our tiles. This one looks like it'll be a really nice contrast. And once we have our stain really well mixed up, we're simply going to apply that to the surface of the tile. Now I want you to pay close attention. Look how much already the stain has really popped out the texture on that shank chain and makes it show up so much more vividly. Make sure you work the stain into all of the recesses. Sometimes the underglaze, especially when it's this liquid, has a tendency to form bubbles and so it won't get all the way down in there. So make sure you really work your brush into all the corners. Take the time to finish the edges. Notice that I'm painting on paper, not on canvas, so that I'm not spreading underglaze unintentionally onto other people's projects. And once you've painted the whole tile, we're going to set this aside for just a minute so that the underglaze has a chance to suck up into the tile a little bit, and then we're going to sponge off the tile so it has even more contrast. I have a nice moist sponge. We're just going to wipe this over the surface of the tile. And this will really lift off a lot of that excess stain that showed all the brush marks. And it will give you a really clear pattern of where your texture is. A really beautiful technique. So that's tile number one. That's our stain. I'm going to wash out our brush before we proceed to the next tile. Our second tile is to stain and then accent with one or more colors. So we're going to start the tile just the way we did the last one. You can choose different stains, whatever whatever works for you. I happen to have this already mixed up so we're going to stick with this for right now. Make sure I work the stain into all the recesses of the tile. Taking care to finish the edges as well. They're an important part of the piece. Think of your pieces as a composed whole. You're not finishing just the top of the piece, but you're finishing all portions of the piece that can be seen. Same as the first one, we're going to sponge off that top excess layer of underglaze 
to show the texture. But now we're going to take a second color and we're going to paint directly over portions of this that you would like to accent. And you can choose to accent whatever portion you want to. I'm choosing to accent a little bit of this spiral in the center of this piece. And I may choose to go all the way around with this. I'm not going to make you watch me do the whole tile. But this is the basic premise. Now, with accenting, you're not painting the whole tile. You're choosing to draw attention to one portion of the tile with auxiliary color. And that's what we've done here. Now you can accent with more than one color. You can accent with one color only. That choice is up to you.